We have a story about some of the important stuff we need to do when we are, you know, taking care of the animals. And I believe Alex was talking a bit about why, for instance, when we are out here in the countryside and there is open ponds where, you know, the, the water, there's some of the areas where there's open, it goes through filtration before it comes out to us, but there's some open areas where they can fall in leaves. And we have had uh, some of the small tamarinds be incredibly sick because there's small toxins in some of this. So if we don't boil the water that comes out here from the countryside, some of our animals could potentially die. It took us a long time to figure out why it was happening, and we were out taking tests and all that stuff like 10 years ago. So we've been doing it ever since, figured out that that's what happened, and that's why. It was, it was a very, very good vet we had a while back that suggested that that could be the case but uh let's see uh, let's see the first episode for this week welcome back to the rescue zoo guys we have moved outside from the studio and uh, i have as always been following the keepers around the rescue zoo in the previous week so uh let's see what the keeper has been up to first up we are meeting up with alex as i caught alex boiling some of the water inside and i asked her some questions why she was doing this to some of the tamarind hi Hi! Alex, don't run away from me. <laughs> Hi Alex, what are you doing? I am currently making breakfast for some of the monkeys and boiling some water to make it cool down so I've got drinkable water for the marmosets. Oh, that's actually an interesting story. Why is it that we have to boil the water? Well, marmosets and tamarinds, they are, uh, they've got a weaker immune system than some of the animals. It's mostly due to the size of them. They can't tolerate as much. And with us being out on the countryside, we have like open um, open area dams. So obviously leaves and things like that can fall into the water and contaminate it. Not that it's anything dangerous for people to drink because it does go through a filtration system, but there can still be some bacteria in it that can be dangerous for the marmosets and tamarinds. Um, so basically this is why we have to boil it to get rid of the last bits of bacteria that could possibly be in the water so it has to, so then to make it safe and drinkable for the marmosets Oh, you noticed the hi <laughs> when they saw me. I'm going to be honest here. I were very close to calling the editor and telling him to cut out that part because it's not a lot of energy on that intro part there, not going to lie, but I just thought it was kind of fun. And the reason why everybody were low energy was because of it's so hot. It was so crazy hot everywhere here in the rescue zoo these days. Well, everywhere in Denmark right now and inside the kitchen area and stuff and I came in with the camera and everybody was just like, hi. <laughs> now with that said, people do enjoy recording. It was just a very hot day. Just a very, very hot day. Guys, remember the Play Rescue show is being recorded live every single Sunday, 10 a.m. CET, live from the first soon rescue center for exciting animals in Denmark. Come say hi to me and Io, and uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys the stories of what happens here in the rescue zoo. Take care, guys. It was Nico here, and also Io today.